Okay, let's see if we get a better video this time. I'm doubting it, but we'll get the gist of everything. So I got the new MIG welder in. It's a internet special. Just a MIG 160, runs off of 120. Uh, trips the breaker a lot. So far, uh, just getting the exhaust remocked up. So this is the straight pipe where the, uh, the cat used to be, clearly. Uh, it's been in there a while, but I've had exhaust clamps on it, so I'm finally uh, tacked it in place. I'm going to weld it up. This is the location for the uh, the new O2 sensor. So I'm going to drill that out. Have to get that bad boy welded in there today. Um, both the O2s are, uh, whatchamacallit, they're leaving to the passenger side underneath everything. So it's pretty clean and clear. But I'm just going to finish um, welding everything up now because uh, I have the angles set right. Um, unfortunately, that may be a, an exhaust leak. I don't, I don't really have a good way to get that welded up yet. But um, once I get some more practice on exhaust, I want to V-band everything so it's it's very easy to get to. And um, I think I'm going to have a really good time with this MIG welder. So we'll see how all this goes, and I'll take another video after the progress. OK, well, we got the welds done. They're really shitty. But uh, I'll tell you what, this machine's got a lot of balls to it. I started off at number two on max, and I was blowing holes really bad. So I'm on uh, minimum and number one on the lowest wire feed speed, and uh, it's just difficult with my helmet. I'm just uh, I'm not using the best equipment, so I uh, you know I kind of stagger off, and then I'm trying to you know one pipe is bigger than the other, so I'm trying to stitch the stitch the uh, the gap shut, and it's it's difficult to do with my shitty hood because it darkens pretty much in, in this in uh, 10 o'clock in the morning daylight here it darkens where I can't really see that well in the shadows and uh, I had a couple boogers imagine it was porosity holes I did not prep this at all this was just uh, right right over the mud right over the dirt I just wanted to see what this flux coil would really do and it did it did exactly what I expected it to do it worked it looks like absolute crap but you know what it's gonna function and uh, when all this makes um, you know, when all this makes sense and makes a little bit of boost and power one day, at least I'll be like, yeah, that's how I did it. So now is the install, the fire up, and the very late breakfast run with hopefully a data log. So uh, the next step is getting the wideband in there, bolting this all back up, and uh, and getting us a test drive. This is an innovative, or a APSX wideband, if I didn't say that already. Here's just some of the gear I brought out. Grinder I didn't even use. Uh, here's the wideband. I know it ain't the best, but it's cheap. It's gonna work for me. And golly, this video quality is probably really, really bad, but we're making it happen, Captain. More to come. So either, either this gauge is reading funny, or I'm running really lean, but I'm gonna give it a pull here. That wide open throttle, it goes to like rich. I got a weird exhaust leak or I've got a lot of tuning to do on the uh, on the VE table because it's here I'll get it to lock up oh, I, might, I might not have enough street the light turned red there it goes just wanted to overdrive lock up so it's cruising right now 42 miles an hour That just seems way too lean. And then it gets richer as I kind of slow down or stop, so. Exhaust leak. So if it's not putting enough uh, exhaust flow, 
you know, you know, if, if it's if it's when I floor it, it might be overcoming the exhaust leak by you know shitting a lot of exhaust into the system. But with an exhaust leak, it could be just you know an idle or yeah, let's see it idle. This is in geared idle. Got to get the data log going on this. To see where it, what it's trying to command for air fuel. Also, it just seems like it's, it's a few points too lean. But again, that could be um, that that could definitely be an exhaust leak for sure. Because see, now that it's hotter, everything's hotter. Look, it's coming. It's coming back towards the normal. So if the if the heat expands the exhaust pipes to where that um, that leak goes down. Because as soon as, as soon as you RPM a little bit, it senses it. Let's go full load. It's 1200 RPM, 1300 RPM, that's full throttle. So I'm gonna guess there's just a really, really shitty exhaust leak somewhere. That's okay. That's okay. There's still a lot of adjust, adjustments and uh, learning to do on this truck. It's a big learning experience because nothing on it is extremely proper. But successful test drive. Nothing blew up. Nothing fell off. I welded uh, welded exhaust in. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what happens next I might be tuning in tonight as long as I don't drink myself stupid I'm gonna to try to get out tonight and um, see if I can adjust this maybe uh, wrap some header wrap around the certain exhaust parts I think are leaking but um, I think it's, it's mainly one junction that I have a uh, questionable with an exhaust clamp because that's that's crap that's there's no way it's running that lean oh here's a cool thing I did too watch this okay so we're in gear and I'm gonna take my foot. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. Take my foot off the gas. And now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn on my AC. And it's gonna accelerate, or it's gonna raise the RPM. It's doing that all by itself. My foot's not on the gas. So it's trying to get to a thousand RPM. It's fighting me right now. It's actually pushing through the brakes a little bit. So what I did was I just went on HP tuners and I raised my idle, my commanded idle in gear with the AC on. And I set that to a thousand RPM. So when I'm off-roading and I don't want to push the gas and I just want I just want that little bit of extra RPM for uh, you know crawling. That's perfect. I have a 1200 to 1400 stall torque converter. So it it engages really low. I can't uh, I can't really stall it. I can't really rev it high and launch. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna guess that um, the exhaust leaks are keeping this from reading true, which is fine. I did calibrate it, um, open air first. And um, yeah, these videos are looking really, really shitty. This this phone has to go. But uh, you know what? As long as the audio's there and as long as it's recording what I'm trying to accomplish and trying to show you guys and do, see the, the trance is getting a little warm because I'm not moving around and I'm doing a lot of you know, brake torquing and shit. I just, uh, that's really cool. I, I really want to get everything dialed in better and, uh, I want to do some pulls and I want to, I want to dial in the truck this week before the turbo, um, kit starts to go in because that's going to be a little more serious and I might have to wait because my other truck needs tags and I didn't get anything in the mail for the tags. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of peeved about that, but you know, what are you going to do? So anyways, there's a lot of a lot of ghetto rigging and a lot of, you know, don't don't do it this way. But if you if you watch me and if you want to do it this way, you know it's gonna work and it's just not gonna look pretty. Happy Tuesday, everybody.